Hi everyone and welcome to Come Into The Light um, with myself, Anne and Jason Warwick. Um, Jason's an elder member of the community and he's been an inspiration behind a lot of the recent uh, changes, um, including the Quantum Immersion Retreat and the changes that are about to come in for the shows that I don't know too much about, so this is all very new for me, uh, and it's what we'll be talking about today. Um, Jason met Fernando Negrini, I'm glad I could say that, um, who came to the Quantum Immersion Retreat, and she's worked with Spike Lee's, um, Spike Lee's network, Vice, um, for many years. So I just wanted to ask Jason, really, about meeting Fernanda and um, yeah, how that's brought about some changes. Or is about to bring some changes, yeah. should I say? <laughs> yeah, we've been a big ship going in a direction, and these changes are so big that we have to give it some time to transition. But some of you may know we have a property up in Utah. We call it Camus Metaphysical Center, and about one or two days before the last quantum immersion retreat started, we got news that it wasn't going to sell any time in the near future. And so we all just sat down at a restaurant and kind of went into prayer about, well, what now then? Because we were preparing for almost like a full shift down to Mexico with just the monastery. And so we just put a prayer and I think David and I both felt Fernanda might bring some kind of a change, but we didn't know what. We'd never met her, never had a talk with her. And we did this four day retreat and she was so fired up by the content that we had that um, Stephen was there at that retreat, that basically she said, well, I worked at this company called Vice. Some of you might've heard Vice News. And it's such a huge uh, news station. I think Disney and Fox bought 5% of it or something for hundreds of millions or billions of dollars. And um, she has all this wisdom from her time working with them mm -hmm. in terms of marketing, how to do shows, how to reach greater masses, and they target directly to millennials. But she said, I can help you guys. And so she went around through all of our shows mm -hmm. and just made some suggestions and, and suggested pre-recorded shows and shows every day of the week and two-minute shows and five-minute shows and half-an-hour shows. And she, she told me one story when she joined with Susan. She said, so how, tell me how long your show is, Susan. And she's like, oh, it's very short. It was only, it's only 30 minutes. And <laughs> she burst into laughter. Like they make whole documentaries in five minutes. And okay. we call 30 minutes short, short shows. <laughs> <laughs> so she has all these ideas that mm. will kind of break. Yeah. That's going to mean a lot of changes for the show. So, yeah, watch out for those. Um, yeah. Along with that, this seems to open up many new volunteer opportunities for people. Um, I looked at the list and I was going to list everything, but it's too too many. But I thought I'd just show, um, Nicholas, if you're there, um, to show the video. A short clip of a, a video, um, because some of the volunteer opportunities includes video editing. And this is just an idea of... of the direction for short videos. Um, it's by Andre Blonde and he's from Romania and it feels really fresh and creative so I'd like you to all have a look at this. Every time you look at the world it's the observer, it's your perception that's determining the entire world you see. It's not just an external world where events are happening in a concrete physical world that has nothing to do with you. It really has you, the person that you believe you are and the world you perceive are all part of a projection that the one mind is projecting. And so everyone is acting just as you want them to act. Everyone is saying the very words you want. It's like, imagine you had a, a, a play and you passed out the parts. Say, here, you're going to play Hamlet 
and you're going to play this one, and you're going to play the, and you passed out all the parts, and everybody speaks exactly the words that you wrote, the ego wrote in an ancient instant, and everybody says and does and behaves exactly the way the ego planned it. And so the script is written, and it's just a movie playing out of your wishes. It's a motion picture of your mind. That's why you're not a victim, is because the mind is doing it to itself. It's not at the mercy of people, it's projected to people. The people are saying and doing everything that the ego told them to do. And then the spirit is trying to get you to come back, 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 all the way back and see that you're dreaming the whole thing. That you're not even a character on the screen. You never were even a character. You're dreaming and then behind that you're the Christ. You're actually at one with God. But if you have to realize you're the dreamer of it first, but otherwise the victimization and the grievances just keep going on and on and getting acted out for thousands, tens of hundreds of thousands of years, these grievances get acted out in time. Or you can come all the way back to one simple realization that you're dreaming. Thank you for showing that, Nicholas. Yeah, I don't know if you've got any comments to make about it, Jason, or well, how it, how it weaves into the picture, you know, in Living Miracles. Well, because of this, this new direction with reaching either millennials or fresh young at heart, you know, people that are just delusioned from relationships, delusioned from the world, disillusioned, mm -hmm. disillusioned. from everything, yeah. we really want to, it's gonna sound funny, but focus more on the form. Because <laughs> you know it's all been about content, 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 and we've spent 10, 15 years perfecting the content, meaning bringing it into our own lives and having a transformation occur mm -hmm. for us. And we really didn't care about the numbers. We didn't really care about how it looked. It was all about mm -hmm. having this inner transformation. But I think I feel now that Jesus is saying it's time now to reach people where they believe they're at and and they love short clips they love provocative content and we'll have a trending show where you take the news item of the day and start it out there and then trace it all the way back in to the core beliefs in the mind in order to do this at at such a high speed we need highly skilled people highly skilled editors and video editors and so andre without even knowing just on an unconscious level started firing off all these videos five or six of them at the very same time we were putting out this telepathic yeah. request. And yeah. so I think you felt that, so you wanted mm. to play. Yeah, definitely. It just felt so vibrant when I watched it for the first time. Yeah. It's like, yeah, but I didn't understand why. So that's why we're here actually yeah. now. So, um, yeah. And about the opportunities, I'll, I'll name a few. Um, obviously the video editing, um, what else? Service managers, ebook designers, landing pages. I don't even know what that is. Uh, <laughs> website management, creative content innovation, transcribing. And I think Kristen or Susan can perhaps give you a fuller picture after the show and how to apply as a volunteer. Um, but you started to answer already my next question, which was about how these changes are helpful for the awakening and for the whole, you know, what, what changes are living miracles making? You know, you've already mentioned content instead of, yeah. So I don't yeah. know quite what the question is, but yeah. <laughs> well, more and more, I think, well, from the beginning, our focus was everybody just come and let up your thoughts and let's go into the healing and mm -hmm. explore everything. But, the deeper you go, you start to see that. I don't know if you've seen, Emily just showed me this clip today where it says it's not about the nail. It's this really cool two minute video where this woman has a nail stuck in the middle of her head and, there's, and she's just going on and on. She's like, there's this pressure in my mind. I don't know what it is. I, I can't sleep at night. It's, it's really difficult to figure out. And then they show the video of this guy sitting beside her and he's like, well, you, you know, you have a nail in your forehead. And she's like, 
you're always trying to fix me. You're always trying to tell me <laughs> what you think is wrong. She's like, can't you just listen for once? And so she goes on. You know, it's just, I think it's something deep from my childhood or it's like, it's psychological. I don't know what to do. And she's like, well, you, <laughs> you know, you have a nail. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. This relationship's over. I can't take this anymore. I want out of here, you know. And it was this really funny, funny video that Emily's take on it was, it's like the Holy Spirit working with us. We're always trying to talk about it or figure it out or, or even put a demand on other people to listen when really, you know, the Spirit is saying, do only that, you know, do only this, listen to me. And so people coming to the ministry now, it feels like they're going to be called into this, this deep level of service that will they'll realize on some level is their way out because like Svava's story, you know, they may or may not have these skills and abilities, but they want to be used. I'll do anything. Please mm -hmm. show me. Mm -hmm. And we're, we're a great channel for those, those skills and abilities to just totally have you in the Holy spirit and, and pop you out. So that's how it serves us. And then how it serves everybody else is they're going to see this high quality content that will really be like an inroads, of attraction, like kind of meet them where, they, I mean, who really, really cares about what Trump does when you're at this level of Course in Miracles, but many of you still may be watching, what is Trump doing? <laughs> what is Trump doing today? Why, why did this man get, you know, this 30-year-old man get evicted from his home by his parents? And if there's an attraction to that, then we feel the Spirit can use that to take you deeper into the mind so mm, yeah yeah so i'm wondering if this means a big shake up within the community um you know i just have a feeling of more younger people coming into the community or is that just an idea in my mind <laughs> nothing to do with well what's no, going I, on i think like fernanda said she said when they were making this content for millennials the, the CEO of the company said he realized that nothing for the young people will be made in the boardroom. So to me, I relate something with that, that anybody that comes has to be really ready to just, okay. Like uh, Lisa Lote wrote, we had about eight to 11 people applied after the last, I don't know when it is I got up here and spoke. Maybe it was the online retreat or something, but mm. we had eight to 11 people that, applied and want to come because they want to be right in it. They want to be in the heart. So it's not really about age. It's about, are you ready to just dive right in and be used to whatever the spirit would have you do, even if it's not what you thought okay. your gifts were and, and mm -hmm. okay. Like Svava didn't think she could deal with people, but she just went for it and mm -hmm. look at how the spirit just hammered with all these witnesses. So. Yeah. So I suppose there's a question in that. It's like um, I came into the community with seemingly no sort of skills that um, I could use. I, I had some admin skills and a few other skills, you know, cooking maybe and things like that. But I seem to have been used in a lot of different ways. So um, if you're putting out a, a question to invite people in that have already got those skills, how does that work with the people that, that would like to yeah, be used in any which way, uh, but don't actually have the skills. So I, I would never have seen myself sitting here interviewing you. It's like beyond anything that was in my mind, you know, uh, but that's the way it's, it's come in for me. So are there still opportunities really for people that might not have this skill set that, that you're asking for? Well, but really want to be used, like you said, with survival. I think it comes down to desire because it really doesn't matter where you've come from or, or what your skills are. But if you've just made a prayer over to Jesus, the spirit and said, yeah, I don't know how to wake up from the stream. I'm lost. I'm confused. Mm -hmm. And you can feel that desire is pure and strong then jesus will use that even if it isn't pure he's just going to take that full extent of that prayer and will fi and if you're fire you off and if you're meant to be fired here then that will be obvious there'll be a need it's not really about like i'm thinking of trinity in the matrix you know when 
she has to go off onto a mission and she just sits in the chair and they and says uh send me the helicopter program or something and they download her in a few seconds a helicopter program meaning how to fly a helicopter mm -hmm. and she's mm -hmm. okay so she enters the matrix and flies this helicopter all around and it I, I, I so fully believe that if your willingness is there, you will learn whatever it is you're supposed mm -hmm. to learn mm -hmm. and step into that. And that's really the only, the only requirement. And if it's, if it's not here, it's somewhere else, then that prayer will f funnel you into whatever you're to doing. Yeah. It doesn't really yeah. matter. It's the prayer. Mm -hmm. It's the prayer underneath it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So, just summarizing what I think you're saying, it's like, yeah, it's, um, it's putting out a request for all these different um, skills. Um, but underneath that, there's a prayer, you know, like um, if anybody's got a desire, you know, like that's out there in the world and they don't feel really like, yeah, um, a little bit like Fernanda, actually, she's, she's out there and she's, she wants a different desire underneath there mm -hmm. and she's come in here uh, and it's like really innovated her it's really sparked her mm -hmm. up and uh, she wants to pass that on to us and yeah. Um, yeah so I've lost my question there. I've she wrote my me today head. yeah she actually texted and said I'm out she's around traveling with her mom around Mexico she said but my heart is still there with you guys I think yeah something she really felt that oh my god I've worked with vice for nine years built this huge company and I couldn't stay anymore because of the bottom line and the profit motive and she sees that everything we're doing is so about extending and giving mm -hmm. and not really mm -hmm. looking for reward she's like that's what I want to line up with and mm -hmm. I mean I don't know if she'd say this but I think she realizes that she's got a lot of ideas that but she doesn't want to let her, even her past conditioning about those ideas lead the way she wants to give them over to the spirit. And, mm -hmm. and that's how the spirit works. Vast amount of skills. And us who, <laughs> I was going to say don't have skills, but we have, we have like the pure Holy Spirit motive underneath, but there is actually a vast amount of skills amongst <laughs> us. But you take that pure desire for content and the skills and put them together and whatever ego motive is underneath, those skills will be washed. Can be washed washed yeah. away yeah. yeah so yeah i guess there's um a feeling inside of me you know to um because i'm thinking of david's book you know that's for the newcomer um you know that's i think it's coming out in october is it this year oh um, february yeah february next year yeah. okay um yeah so that's yeah we're going to bring in um a whole new audience yeah. um, and it's I suppose it's like yeah once people are excited interested um, want to come into living miracles it's like the course is very very deep um, and it's like I, I get the sense that this is bridging the gap in mm. yeah there's there needs to be like a bridge mm -hmm. somehow you know from the person that reads a book for the first time gets sparked looks at the course and goes oh my word you know like um mm -hmm. so all of these changes it feels like yeah it's, it's a way of bridging that gap mm -hmm. is, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all. yeah i think function meaning specific tasks yeah. in form to support forgiveness Mm -hmm. is a bridge into that that is what living miracles that's what the course offers is that other non-dual past don't is non-dual past you know will offer something like what who is the i you yeah. know i've seen people write things like who is the i that skypes or who is the i that's living in this world but that's that's a very rare path and most of the population 99 percent, so to speak needs a slowly evolving path where they mm. can do this, do this, do this, and the Holy Spirit puts them in positions where they can almost look back and be like, wow, how did I let that go? I don't even know mm. how that happened. Mm. It just it just happened. And and for me, this whole journey with this new direction is really inspiring because even this interview, because <laughs> I, I was telling the Spirit, I'm, 
I don't have like for the past 10 or 15 years, there's been this huge drive. Okay, let's do this. Let's build Moodle. And it's been so inspiring and this force underneath, but that force is gone. You know, it doesn't, I don't have that anymore to, to drive anything. So okay. it's like, okay, if this is going to happen, you're going to have to send people that still have that. Yeah. And okay. I can join with them, collaborate, work with them, watch, just kind of nudge in little direction. So when you say you want to do this interview about this whole new direction, I'm like, okay, great. I can, I can say yes to that. And, and you were telling me just before the show, you're feeling all this energy. And I felt it was just because mm. Jesus was activating you in this direction and you felt it. Yeah. Intensity. It felt very intense. Um, Cause it, it feels like it's a whole new direction for this particular show as well. It's like, and it feels so huge underneath, really huge. And it's like, how do I contain how I'm feeling? How do I ask <laughs> the questions that actually gets the information out that, that I can feel, you know, I'm inspired by. Um, so it's like, yeah, so it's kind of over to you, Jason, <laughs> to do the rest. It's like, I just feel it and I feel it's, yeah, it can open up so much for, yeah, for so many. Um, I mean, for me, it was watching David's long videos, uh, but that's not always the direction for a lot of people. They can't sit for hours and watch, mm -hmm. you know, David um, mm -hmm. as I did. So this feels, yeah, mm -hmm. really good for that. I don't know if you've got any parables that you want to share or I don't know where we're going now with this show. Well, the one that <laughs> came to my mind, I think mm. we talked a bit about yesterday was Andre's yeah. parable. <clears throat> I think Andre is even on there. Is he? There he is. Oh. Hey, Andre. Oh, hi, Andre. <laughs> Thank you so much for the videos. Amazing. Because, <laughs> right. yeah, Andre, he, he was with us a few years ago, and he helped build that uh, site, uh, the... Um, I think the video paid video membership site and we had all these ideas, but then he shared that he went through some fear when he was making it because I think Chris Everts was working with him and saying, okay, here's a deadline and we need to collaborate by this point. And he was like, cause we had a call about this afterwards. He said, deadlines, planning, what, how is this related to a course in miracles? And I, and it was just kind of like, okay, this isn't for me. And, kind of left the, the project and we gave it over to Utah and Utah finished in a slightly different format. But, but then Andrew and I had this beautiful talk and I don't know, maybe a month ago. And he basically, we just went into those ideas, how the spirit, you know, we all resonate with that line from a course in miracles. A healed mind does not plan. And, but a lot of, a lot of course students well, great. They'll just end it right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's it. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> no, more, no more planning. Great. But the second part is just as important as it waits to receive the plans that are not its own. But there's so much fear in the mind about those specifics that it's going to totally unravel my life and what those plans are that it can just block specific guidance as if as if it's all ego planning, but the spirit, like we were talking about, reaches the mind where it believes it's at. Mm. So I don't know. I think he could probably nod his head if, if there's an agreement, but we both felt a resonance that, that, that there is, <laughs> <laughs> that there was, there was another step there. And, and I think he felt a relief at that and said, okay, I'm in. And he filled out his volunteer application and just said, I'm going to go for it. And he had no idea how, and he started with remote volunteering for a few months and we were all so impressed with his videos that just in the last two days I can tell you we've had Skype calls with him we've we've bought his flight over from Romania which I can tell you is an extremely rare thing we've given him six months scholarship and it's like okay the spirit has met this huge desire and I don't think I don't know if this is your show so I don't know <laughs> if you want him to say anything but I don't know if you ever expected this would be an answer to accepting the Holy Spirit's plans. Yeah, um, I'm really open to you sharing something, Andre, if you'd like to.
if we can get you on. Okay. Yay. I don't know if we can I hear. We've got volume. The up, but it's muted. Oh. Okay. One second. Okay. Can you hear me now? No. no. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi, Andrew. Hey. I knew this was going to happen. Andy said. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Andy says, I did. Yeah. Well, what can I say? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy. I don't have too much to say. I mean, words are a bit clunky to express what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty wild. And this is what I've been asking for, so I received it. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm going along with it. I'm, I'm just dancing. <laughs> <laughs> the best of my abilities. Because I was talking with Andy a couple of days ago and I actually had some serious ego backlash. I mean, immediately after you guys mentioned that you want me there, I just immediately went into a panic and <laughs> it was pretty wild, but, um, but I'm fine now. Thanks to, to <laughs> <laughs> I survived. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you guys in person. Yeah. But what we, what we appreciated about like Andre with his application was he spent a, f a five minute video on and he was just, he laid out all his thoughts and, he wasn't focusing on his skills. I mean, he had a huge list of skills, but it was, this was my fears. This is what was difficult for me. This is where I am now. And almost like I just, I lay myself. I lay myself on the altar of Christ, like whatever you want to do with this. And we were doing a lot with it. You know, it's like, yeah. Yeah. thank you, Andrew. Thank you so much. Andrew. Thank you. Okay, uh, we've just got a couple of minutes left, Jason. So is there anything else that you'd like to add? Is there something that needs to be said before we finish? Well, I'm just, it's nice to see all you guys and I'm Helen and Willow. I'm just excited that if, if someone like Andre, who was in Romania and felt, you know, I don't know how to get out of this life situation that I'm in, can can be and even the, the idea of planning not know how to get past that block and just say i'm willing and the spirit works through that it works through financial concerns distance and time that really we can just celebrate that any of us can make our next leap and yeah. dive into the unknown yeah. so. it's a beautiful miracle to to end the show with thank you so much thank you everyone for watching us and uh i'm gonna hand it over um, to Kristen and Susan. Thank you Love so you much, guys. Jason. Thank you. Love Thank you. you. <laughs> bye bye.